Now, Steve, mm. also, along with this great salvation, part of the repercussions of your life um, on the road and with the band, you, you, you were also sick with hepatitis C. Is that correct? That's correct. Deathly sick, yes, sir. Tell um, us what happened. Well, and, and, you know, I got saved in my 20s. So in my 40s, I just suddenly became ill, and, and they started doing lab work and all, and uh, finds out that by the time they found it, I was in stage four cirrhosis going, stage, yeah, stage four cirrhosis. And uh, so it culminated in a liver transplant. But what happened, Philip, was the liver transplant failed. Uh, I spent a year in intensive care at the state hospital here in uh, South oh, Carolina. A year? The God, God's a God of miracles. Yeah, a year in intensive care, and that room gets awful small after a year. Uh, so I, I'm on a feeding tube. They're keeping me alive on a feeding tube. The liver has failed. Uh, I'm off and on the respirator for weeks at a time just to stay alive. God. My kidneys have failed. I've got a bad case of pneumonia. Everything that could go wrong was going wrong. They came in twice and told my family that you will be dead before, he'll be dead before morning. They'd call me and they'd come three, three and a half hour drive to get to the hospital to be with me as I was dying. And I would live through the night. And then finally, the third time, uh, the doctor came in to tell me and I was there by myself. He said, said, Steve, I've talked to specialists all over the world. I can't explain your case. You shouldn't be in this condition. But your most recent lab works tell us because my the, the, the values in my lab work was 10 to 15 times above what was normal, which meant I should be dead. Yeah. He said, uh, he said, where are you at tonight? He said, I'm sorry to tell you, this is about nine o'clock in the evening. He said, you won't be alive in the morning. And he walked out and I'm in the room by myself with that news, right? So, so the only thing I know to do is I start praying. But you know, Philip, I found something out. Up to that point, I had been fighting the fight of faith. I'd been decreeing health and, and quoting scriptures and beating yeah. the devil up, everything I knew to do. When he left that night, I just simply said, God, I surrender. I, I'm, I'm in your hands. This is yeah. your, this is your, uh, you do with me what you want to do. And I think I might have said, but Lord, I don't feel like I'm through at my church. I want to see my grandchildren, you know, yeah. those kind of prayers. And I fell asleep. I fell asleep praying. Around six o'clock in the morning, that same doctor was at my bedside. He woke me up. They had came in during my sleep and drew the lab work again and had tested it. He was smiling from ear to ear. And 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 the thing about it was he was a Jewish brother. He didn't really believe in Jesus. You know, he 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 thought like I don't I don't want to get into that, but he wasn't really accepting the Savior like I was. And uh, he said, Steve, uh, he said they're talking about you all up and down this hall. And I said, Well I'm a preacher. I'm used to people talking about me. Kind of made a joke. He said, No, he said uh, he said, they're calling you the miracle man. And I said, well, now you got my interest. He said, well, I can't explain this, Steve. He said, I don't know how to tell you this. He said, they came in and did your lab work last night. And he said, there's no way to say it. it's nothing short. He leaned toward me. He said, you've had a miracle from God because everything in your body has gone back to normal. Oh, my God. God how supernaturally healed me while I was sleeping. That's how good a God he is. I was oh. sleeping. And he healed me. And, uh, from there, it was another year or so to complete recovery because I just weighed 143 pounds. Boy, I beat that 143 pounds bad right now. I really beat it bad. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. <laughs> yeah. That is but, um, unbelievable. 